When you have a problem as big as trying to solve our energy future, sometimes you have to think big. And some scientists at Utah State are thinking of gigantic algae farms covering hundreds of square miles in western Utah. You heard right, algae. John Hollenhorst joins us with more on our Project Utah series on energy. Well, scientists all over the world and many in Utah are trying to find ways to get cleaner energy without depleting our fossil fuels. So how about harnessing solar energy stored inside the cells of the humble algae? There are small algae ponds at Utah State University's Energy Dynamics Lab. Water chock full of tiny green plants is in constant motion. And the mixing really keeps the algae moving to the surface so it can get sunlight. A bigger pond is under construction. It will cover a quarter acre. We need to have a 10,000 square acre facility so if, you know, because that, that's how you produce millions to tens of millions of gallons of fuel each year. And the vision of USU scientists goes much further. We're going to see very large commercial farms. Vast farms of algae that in theory could provide a significant portion of our energy needs someday thanks to a gift from the sky. Oh, absolutely. This is really solar energy. And, and algae are very efficient at converting sunlight into oils. No other plant can grow as fast and produce as much vegetable oil. They already have the know-how to get the oil out. They dry out the algae, mill it into a fine green powder, extract the oil in surprisingly large amounts. One third of its weight can be oil, which can be converted directly into biodiesel. But there's one major problem. We have actually a lot of technologies that can do it now, but we don't have them that can do it cheaply enough. And so that's kind of the Achilles heel. Does that sound familiar? It's the Achilles heel of many visionary ideas for our energy future. We may wish we could get rid of messy, climate-changing fossil fuels like gas and coal, but the alternatives are often more expensive. In the case of algae, far more. The cost of producing algal-based biofuels is still much higher than other crops. Right now, the idea is completely impractical from a cost point of view, but that's the problem this project is intended to solve. They're experimenting with ways to produce more algae per acre with higher oil content. Sometimes you can increase the amount of oil in the algae by stressing it or, say, taking away one of its nutrients. It thinks, oh, it's a bad time. I better store up some, some energy for later. And they're trying to find markets for the leftovers. After the oil is extracted, the remaining organic material might be sold for animal feed, plastics, or fertilizer. And so we're trying to find ways to use that value to help in the total cost. But some experts believe the real push for visionary energy schemes will come from the other direction. When fossil fuels become too expensive, we may be glad we have alternatives, especially one as green and clean as algae. Very interesting.